So that's about Democrats potentially voting to save Mike Johnson's position as Speaker of the House for Mike Johnson. Um, if Marjorie Taylor Greene and Thomas Massey actually bring their motion to vacate the chair. Democrats have indicated that they will uh, save him, essentially, but in exchange for some concessions from him. Democrats wanna get things done. There are a lot of things that actually have to get things done. If Republicans throw Mike Johnson out of the speakership, it took him three weeks to replace Kevin McCarthy it could, it could go months this time around. The GOP caucus is so fractured and there's so much infighting among them. They never, they're never gonna be able to agree on somebody. They, they are never going to be able to agree on somebody. And so in an effort to just simply get some things done, if Democrats can get concessions from Mike Johnson to bring certain bills to the floor, and get things passed, get funding passed, get Ukraine aid passed, get all these other foreign aid bills passed. They have a huge number of bills that they have to get done between now and election day. And if, if Democrats prop up Mike Johnson in exchange for those things, A, those things will get done. Governing will occur. B, Mike Johnson will then be able to ignore people in his caucus like Marjorie Taylor Greene. He'll be safe for the rest of this term. And Democrats can use that to their advantage. And if he tries to screw them by, that, by not bringing up those bills, well, by that point, he's already cooperated with Democrats. So Republic, the, the, the hard right, the Freedom Caucus people are going to want to throw him out every second of every day. And so if he screws over Democrats, they can just be like, ah, we're pulling our support. And they'll tell these guys to have at it and throw them out. Very little downside to this right now for Democrats. Very little downside. 